Hello, this is Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Welcome back to our DNN 9 video series. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about our skin or a theme project. Uh, the project we created in the last video, I'm going to show you how we can go through and open that project file, go through the packaging process for the, uh, the skin. We'll go and see how we can install the skin and then apply the skin to our website. Uh, we'll be working in a local DNN dev environment at dnndev.me. If you haven't set that up yet, go ahead and check out some of our earlier videos in the series. And then we will, uh, we already have the assumption that you've installed the project templates and actually created this skin project, uh, which we did two videos ago. So let me go ahead and switch over to my development environment. Now here within my DNN development environment, I've got .NET Nuke running locally. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our Visual Studio environment. Now, to work properly with DNN with my project templates, you do need to load Visual Studio as an administrator. So you can right-click on the icon, choose properties, and check the Run as Administrator option there. So we'll go ahead and wait for Visual Studio to kind of open and uh, load up our options here. Now, from here, I can go and attempt to open the solution file for the project from two videos ago. Now, if you watched the last video, you'll know that I actually changed the location of that project. And if I go to try to open it here in Visual Studio, it can't find that path anymore. So let me show you how you can find a uh, your skin projects or your skin solutions. So you're gonna go to File, you're gonna go to Open, you're gonna choose Project or Solution. Now at this point, you're gonna navigate to the location of your DNN dev or your DNN website uh, development environment. In my case, it's in the C websites DNN dev.me folder. And then from there, we're going to navigate into the portals folder. And we're going to navigate into the underscore default folder. From there, the skins folder. And then I have a folder here called sample theme. That's where we created the, uh, or that's where we moved the skin to in the last video. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the solution file here, and we'll take a moment while Visual Studio loads everything up. So within Visual Studio now, you can see everything is just about loaded. On the right side of the screen, we have our solution explorer with all of the files for our skin. Now the two primary or the important files for our skin are the edit.ascx file and the home.ascx file. This particular skin is designed to have two different layouts. You can increase the number of layouts in a skin by adding additional ASCX files. Now what we're gonna go ahead and start with is attempting to package this particular skin so that we can install it onto our DNN website. Now we haven't done anything to this skin yet other than create the project and then relocate the, the path on the file system. From here, I'm just gonna go up to the build option and try to build the solution. I just wanna make sure that the build is gonna be successful before we go through and, and attempt to do our packaging. So we can see that the build was successful here. So I built in debug mode. And if I wanted to, I could actually go apply this particular skin to a page without doing anything else. But for now, I want to go through a couple additional steps. I want to go up to my mode option, and I'm going to switch from debug into the release mode. And then I'm going to do another build. And what this is going to do is it's going to build and package our skin. Now, the packaging of a skin creates an install and a source zip file. Now, those are zip files that you can use to upload into any .NET Nuke installation and apply your skin to that installation. We can find those by navigating on our file system. And I'm gonna go back to that C websites folder, dnndev.me, portals, underscore default, skins, sample theme, that's the, the folder for our skin. And then inside of there now exists an install folder. Now the install folder, has a sample theme 000001 install zip and a source zip. These are the uh, installable zip file and a source source um, 
source code and the solution, everything for the skin is included in that. The installable zip file is something you would typically install into a production environment where the source zip is not something you would typically install into production. So for now, let's go ahead and go back over here to the browser where we have our DNN website running. And I'm gonna go ahead and reload the page because we've just compiled the skin. It's changed DLLs in the bin folder for the website. So it takes a moment to restart. And once it restarts and uh, the page loads, we're gonna go ahead and log in as the host or the super user account. So we'll go ahead and log in with our account information. And then once we're logged in, we will go to the persona bar on the left side of the screen here in DNN9. We're gonna to go to the gear icon and underneath of that, we're gonna to go to the extensions option. The extensions page here allows us to install extensions into DNN and a skin or a theme is just another extension. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the install option I'm gonna go ahead and go specifically to the portals folder within my DNN website. Gonna to go to underscore default, skins, sample theme, and then the install folder. Now from here, I can either install the install zip or the source zip. Because I'm working in my development environment, I'm gonna choose the source zip. So that's gonna upload the zip file here. We can go ahead and click on next to walk through the process. Go ahead and complete that process and we'll go ahead and close our persona bar and reload the page so that we can see or we can have the website once again restart. We just installed a new file so it does require IIS to restart the application pool. Everything gets recompiled there and then once the page loads up, we can now go in and apply the skin to a page. Now, before we do that, let me switch back over here to Visual Studio and point out one thing that has changed. If I go back to Visual Studio now, you can see I have this sample solution theme has been modified outside the environment. Now that occurred because we installed the source package and we essentially installed it right over our existing source files. So Visual Studio senses the change, asks us if we want to reload and go ahead and click that and Really nothing changes here. So at this point, we're gonna switch back over to our browser. Now I've actually installed Chrome and I'm logged into Chrome because my Microsoft Edge browser quit working. But I'm logged in as that host or that super user account here. Now I'm on the home page here on my dnndev.me site and I wanna go ahead and apply the skin to this page. So I'm gonna click on the edit pencil down in the bottom left hand corner to put me into edit mode and then I'm gonna to go to the page settings for the home page here. Now from within the page settings, we're gonna to go to the advanced tab and the appearance submenu underneath of that. Now on the appearance submenu here, we can see that we have a couple of different sections that we can choose different themes, layouts, and containers. So we're gonna choose the sample theme. With that theme, we have three layouts available to us. Really only two of them can be used. One is the edit layout, and one is the home layout. The pop-up layout, you might be able to apply it to a page, but you wouldn't want to. There's really nothing on it. So the edit layout and the home layout are the two layouts that come with the, the skin that comes in the Visual Studio templates. You can add different layouts. We'll talk about that in future videos. You can also supply thumbnails for your skins and your layouts so that the uh, user who's selecting those options might have a better idea of what they look like. Right now, this the project just provides sample, uh, or actually doesn't provide any thumbnail, so DNN uses the default thumbnails. So we've chosen sample theme, we've chosen the home layout, and then we can choose a container. Now, it's selected as blank, but I'm gonna start with the main container. So there are two containers within the skin. We'll talk more about containers in a future video. We're gonna go ahead and choose the main one for now. And then from there, we can go ahead and click save at the bottom. And that's going to apply our skin to this particular page. Now at this point, it's only applying it to the home page. It is not applying it to any of the other pages. So if I were to navigate to say the products page, you can see that it is not using the sample theme that we provided. Now I go back to the home page and I have 
uh, the the theme being applied. Now, what's what makes up this theme? It's really that blue navigation bar across the top. The navigation is embedded into that bar. Uh, one thing I notice here is the page order has changed. We'll fix that here in just a moment. And then further down on the page, let's go ahead and just click on the edit pencil so you can see what layout the home layout provides. So within this particular sample skin, there is a layout or a container, sorry, there is a pane at the top that stretches the full width. I believe it's called carousel. From there, there's a top pane which stretches most of the width of the page. Underneath of that are two columns. There's a content pane, which is our main area where most modules are probably going to exist on a page. And we have a right pane. And then below that, we have some additional columns and panes available to us. Everywhere you see one of these dashed boxes are different locations where you can place modules or content on the page. Now, the home layout looks like this. If we were to apply the edit layout, it looks slightly different. The content pane, which is where our modules are currently, would stretch the full width of the page. It's just the design for that edit layout. It's designed for use in pages where maybe you're editing content or editing a module. That's kind of what the edit layout is designed for. So at this point, we have the skin available to us. We've applied it to the home page. You can also go and apply that to the site settings, which will make it apply that skin or that theme to every page on the website. We'll do that in a future video. For now, thanks for watching the video. This has been Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com.